Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hi everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, going back to North Park Beer Company, North Park, San Diego. Uh, this is Community Guidelines. I don't know if this these white labels never show up well on camera, so it's probably super blurry. Um, but <laughs> this label is funny because this is about how social media posts get taken down all the time for no good reason. And it says that, it says community guidelines, a toast to every brewery who's had their post removed for no good reason by an algorithm. Uh, pretty can, 7.1%, double dry hopped West Coast IPA. Uh, we just reviewed Mr. Hoppy, which was 7.1%, so the exact same ABV. Um, this one is all mosaic though, I think. It says India Pale Ale, uh, double dry hop with mosaic and mosaic. Uh, cryo. So Mosaic, one of my favorite hops. It's on the Mount Rushmore for me. Uh, this was canned on March 1st, my birthday. Today is March 25th, so three weeks in the can. Hashtag Team Old IPA, baby. Let's go. You guys know I'm Team Old IPA. I uh, figured we use the birthday glassy since this was canned on my birthday. This will be like a fun little birthday review. Why not? Yeah, I'm sure this can will not uh, focus on camera, but you know what? That's the way it goes. It's, way, it's what happens when you use white labels and you try and drink beer on YouTube. So uh, This beer looks extremely similar to the last beer that we drank. It is crystal clear. Not as bubbly carbonation wise. Um, it's, I mean, it's got a chill haze. It almost looks like there's like kind of hop haze floating around in there. Um, not a lot of head. Quarter finger of bright white head. Uh, but it's dissipating rather quickly. It's weird. Like it doesn't look carbonated when you when I poured it, but there's a lot of bubbles. So. I don't know if it's just super heavily hopped and it's doing that to the head. Who knows? Let's shove our fat nose in it. See what it's got. Ooh. <laughs> so Mr. Hoppy was called a Supreme Dank IPA and it didn't smell that dank. This smells straight like a bag of weed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it smells like if you were to put blueberries in a bag of weed and smell it. That's, I mean, literally nothing else. <laughs> smells like grand, uh, granddaddy perfect if you ever smelled that before <laughs> hey, fucking, this is crazy it's so over the top weedy i love it like maybe a hint of like crackery like sweetness but no this is that is the stickiest of the icky there's really nothing else it's blueberry weed so <laughs> let's go and taste it cheers <laughs> i don't know why that's so funny just because it smells familiar It is delicious. I mean, it's not as dank as what it smells, um, but it's really fucking dank. Um, but it's mosaic. It's a little sweet, um, and it's got that cool blueberry. Um, the The bitterness that this offers, it gives off kind of a little floral note. What was the beer? Was it Blind Pig that we drank? That I said it tasted floral because of the bitterness? This reminds me of that. Um, there's like this, I mean, I, I suffer from allergies. So when I walk by a big thing of flowers, like I know I'm going to die because I can smell it. You know, you know, when you walk by like a big, huge, like just when you walk through like a yard that has those crazy flowers everywhere and you can just taste it. That's what that's like. It reminds me of that. Again with this one though, these beers are so dry on the finish. I just, I want to chug them. Um, it just, it, like your mouth, your tongue is just immediately dry when you swallow it and you're like, fuck, I'm thirsty. I want another sip of that. But yeah, if you like Mosaic, this is very much a one note beer and that's fine with me because I'm a big fan of Mosaic hops, but this is not like a complex beer. This is dank Mosaic blueberries. That's what it is. Um, a little bit of sweetness on the finish, super dry, extremely easy drinking. Again, with this one, like even like as dank as it smells, and as dank as it tastes, it doesn't go super bitter to where it's going to kill my tongue. Um, it's definitely not offensive in that way. Uh, but it's, I mean, you got to like <laughs> dank beers to like this beer. Um, thankfully, I do. I mean, that's kind of what got me into IPAs. Dank and grapefruit is what I liked when I first started drinking IPAs back in the day. So um, <laughs> this beer is awesome. I love it. I said in the last review, North Park is making... For my money, I mean, some of the best West Coast IPAs in California. It's them and it's Slice. Um, I mean, I'm just super fanboy of uh, both of them. They both make 
Uh, hazy beers that are really good too. I just I skip hazies these days and just drink West Coast beers and they just they never disappoint. I don't ever have bad beers from either one of them where I'm like, eh, this beer is just not that good. I've had plenty of bad hazy beers from not bad hazy beers from them, but just hazy beers where I'm like, eh, it's all right. But they're West Coast beers. They just they kill it. So uh, yeah, another winner. That's community guidelines. I know this probably wasn't the greatest review just because it wasn't very descriptive, but like I said, it's a very one note beer. It's mosaic. And if you like mosaic, you'll like this beer. <laughs> that's what it was. So uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys had this beer. If you did, let's talk about it. And uh, I'll see you right back here in another review. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.